Here we are 18 and a half miles as the crow flies from Piccadilly Circus. This is the story of our field at the Quadrangle, an ordinary field in the Darrant Valley in North Kent. The Quadrangle was built in 1870 as a model dairy farm, but by 2010 the grazing animals had all gone and this field was left unused. It was in poor shape, drab and seemingly lifeless. The land overgrazed, the soil compacted. We wondered what to do with it. How could we link it in with the other things beginning to happen at the Quadrangle? Workshops, kids' camps, retreats, ecological education. Over that year, an idea began to take shape. We imagined the fields springing to life with fruit and nut trees, birds and butterflies, a diverse, bountiful and beautiful young woodland, a quadrangle version of a forest garden. We looked more closely at the soil and had it analysed for its chemistry and microbiology. It was low in organic matter, fungal networks and other crucial microorganisms that make nutrients available to plants and give life to the soil. So over that year we worked on a plan. The field was left ungrazed and unmown and with surprising speed nature started to reclaim it. Grasses grew tall and flowered. Wildflowers appeared that we'd never seen in the field before. Goat's beard, knapweed, even orchids, splashes of puce pink. Deep-rooted docks were breaking up the compaction. Nettles were attracting peacock and red admiral butterflies. We were seeing grass snakes and slow worms. Field voles were making homes in the grass tussocks. Nothing unusual or rare, but we were excited that the ordinary was coming back. Over time, scrub would have established itself, then finally trees, but we were impatient. We slotted into what nature had already started and planted a woodland of fruit and nut trees, apples, plums, and Kentish cobnuts, among many others. It is said that we know less about the teeming life in the soil than we know about space. At the Quadrangle, we're beginning to understand our soil a little better, to be in awe of it, this new frontier, we learn to care for it and to value it as a vital carbon store, mulching with compost and well-rotted wood chips, watering it with home-brewed nettle and comfrey tea. Our trees are growing, their roots breaking up the soil and becoming part of this astonishing web of underground life. Our earthworms are much happier and are hard at work. The hundreds of worm casts show us that things are improving. All this has taken time. We have learned to be patient, to watch and enjoy. Enormous numbers of ants make anthills that sprout fine grasses and wild geraniums. Green woodpeckers love to eat the ants, licking them up with their extraordinarily long tongues. We watch kestrels, owls, dragonflies, bumblebees. Today we harvest fruit, nuts and herbs. Kids come to camp groups sit round bonfires at night in the field that is no longer a field. All this on a pocket handkerchief of land 